on backstage of the Vegas show. That is when America's Got Talent reached out to him and invited him to become a part of Guys, assalamualaikum everyone. Same with this reaction back with other like interview reaction. This like name it like this. Ten facts you don't know about Mercedes Pomi in America. Got talent. What's hot? So this channel names talent recap. Okay, this is uh, what's hot. Like like something fire or something like this so my name is Isamir I love doing reaction I love doing reaction in Mercedes too amazing you are in the right channel please subscribe and give me love and big hug and this means a lot and in the description you find everything like you want and that's mean a lot to me you know it's mean the world to me subscribe here please that's if you like me first you know if you like me yes right let's start with this and see what this uh, 10 facts i don't hear like i know his story before but i want to go like i'm Naganda, and this is a new segment at the talent recap show where we talk about what's hot what's hot, hot. what's hot take a deep dive into one of the sounds talking about and today yeah now let's get into it well it's, yeah i love the, the logo singing sensation philippines he is loved his videos have gone viral and since he's come to america's got talent champions people can't stop talking about him the reason the world is so obsessed with him is because he can do a duet all by himself yep all by himself yeah he's vocal the fact that he can do male and female and both exceptionally well is what makes him a trending top. But here are 10 facts about Marcelino that even if you're a hardcore fan, you might not know about him. Fact number one, Marcelino's childhood. When he was only three years old, his father was incarcerated and soon after his mother left. So basically he was abandoned, he had nowhere to go, and when the authorities find out, found out about him, they took him to jail where his father worked. And there he used to eat with the inmates, hang out, just you know, be himself, and have the kind of childhood that you don't want to have. But things got even worse when Marcelino's father fell sick. Then a policeman named Ali Makawawi adopted him, got, took him to his home, Home, gave him shelter and he stayed there for a few years but when he found out that Ali Makawawi's family is not his real family and that he was adopted he left on a quest to find his parents now he didn't know where his parents were obviously so he stayed on the street at a very young age just to be reunited with the people who had actually created him during this time on the streets, he did everything he could do to survive. He used to sell balut, which by the way, if you don't know, you have to check it out. It's a really cool thing. And he sold ice cream. He also, at one point of time, worked as a pin boy in a bowling alley. Now here's the tragic part. He earned the equivalent of one dollar every day. You know this story, I always have many story like this one dollars for his self. I always had that story uh, about um, this man, he was like working so hard. And if you know this company named QNET, it is in Malaysia, I always like have like, he was like, have like one door in a, in in a day so it was like like make the half 
it's like no i like the half and the half for his family so that's a hard story you need to know about that that is just heartbreaking then he went to manila and worked at a poultry farm where he used to sing to the chickens as he used to put water on them and that is where he found his calling so while he would sing he would sing in both the manila Awards, not to an audience that could appreciate his music, but just because he enjoyed it, and that's what gave him peace. He had appendicitis, fell sick, and had a hard road to recovery. Which takes us to our point number two. This is where his journey to talent show starts. Now understand this. He didn't want to go, he didn't want to go to the talent show just to showcase his talent and make a name for himself. He wanted to use that platform to find his family so that maybe, you know, when, when they see him, they're like, oh, uh, he's his long lost brother, sister, or child. Because at the end of the uh, day, he felt that emptiness. Uh, now, you would think with somebody who's got such an amazing dual voice, talent shows would be like, yes, come on in. No. He first tried his luck in Talentadong, Sinoy. But he didn't even make it to audition. Wow. He did. And that's when, but he didn't give up because he, again, it wasn't just that he was following music. It was he really desperately wanted to find his family. So he auditioned for Filipinos Got Talent. And that is when his love affair with his audience started. Because the minute people heard him, Which, by the way, gets me to the fact that if I was in Toronto, Dong, Pinoy, I would be scratching my head right now. So while Marcelito was on Filipinos Got Talent, there was a nationwide search going on for him to find his family because his story had touched everybody's heart. They all felt for him. And at the grand finale, where he performed prayer, it was the first time ever that his entire family right there to to watch him perform and he's all grown up and in an interview he was actually asked like what was he thinking during the finale like what, what was going on in his brain his entire family was there and he said he was praying that his whole family was proud of him which is just so calm and to this day, whenever he talks about the grand finale and the song prayer, he just gets so emotional. And we get it. It was the greatest moment of my life. Because I can't even say it. Okay, now... Yeah, I mean, feel you. Number three. So now you saw his journey. Album he had. Philippines heart, everybody was invested. And he became this dark, this, this person who was just... A and this reality show sensation. So he used that and came out with two albums called Split and Duet. And everything was seemingly going well for him. This takes us to fact number four. On September 23rd, 2013, there was don't a hear about fire that. that burnt down his entire house. Right! One day after his birthday. Shout out to all my workers. The fire burned his entire house down. He lost everything. Thankfully, he was in Canada on tour at that time, but he lost everything. Okay, enough. I get it. I get it. I'm getting dark. Enough about the sad and dark stuff. Let's talk about how his life took a turn for the better and the best moments he had after that. So, that takes us to point number five. The next best thing that happened to Marcelino mm. was marriage. On September 21st, 2014, Marcelino Tomoy married Joan Paraiso. Now, she's not just his wife, by the way. She translates for him and was seen on AZV Champions, helping him get his message across. And she's also his manager, you guys. And together.
together they had a daughter named Marcella Janaya, who he is obsessed. You guys, he's obsessed with her. She's the best thing that's ever happened. She's so cute. And she looked like and him. Mm. And like her mom. Love this family, I swear. I love fall in love. Greatest source of achievement, pride, and inspiration. Fatherhood has taught me about unconditional love, reinforced the importance of giving back, and taught me how to be a better person. Now that he's established, he has a great family life and is madly in love with his wife. Ever since he started his career on Filipinos for Talent, there has been rumors circling that he's gay. This is how he responded to those rumors. He said he's not offended by such talk because he's male through and through. And he also admitted to having a crush on Kim Chin. I wonder how his wife feels about that. Fact <laughs> his wife they trusts now, him. He will not do it. Not he, 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 he's a man, you know. He's the. He's a beauty, you know. And in 
so if you love that's my reaction subscribe more we do more reaction and thank you for watching i see you next time for this review or reaction i have no idea but i will never you will see, yeah, you will see it. Oh my god, you will see it.